Well, next, it's believed we're facing a £2.3 billion credit hangover from Christmas, with up to one in four people in the region having used a buy now, pay later service to shop for presents. Financial charities want better regulation of the industry, as Nick Smith reports. You may have seen it pop up in your online checkout in recent months. An option to buy now, pay later, spreading the cost of an order in instalments or delaying the whole payment to a later date. It can all seem very attractive to the customer. Often these services are interest free, so long as you can meet those repayment deadlines and it's credit which can be granted in moments with the simple click of a mouse. And they're certainly popular. One of the biggest buy now, pay later firms already has 10 million UK customers. We asked people in Ashby de la Zouch if they'd used one. It's, it feels a lot less stressful knowing that only a small amount comes out of my bank account. I use it all the time, it's great, but it's dangerous. No, we haven't. Uh, we're, we've been fortunate enough not to, you know, have had, have had to, but we'd, we'd consider it. Well, next, if we it's believed to. we're facing a but 2. financial 3 experts billion are warning pound of some credit hangover from Christmas. You don't need to do much thinking or, or ticking the boxes in order to sign up for a buy now service to shop for presents. But because they're unregulated, there isn't the requirement to give consumers all the information they need to make good financial choices. So they don't need to tell you necessarily that these products online checkout in recent months. An option to buy now. Now pay later, um, of non spreading like the, the cost of, of an order in installments of those or delaying kind of the whole payment to a later date. It can all seem very attractive Sophie to Edwards the customer. is an online content creator who free. started using so the Buy Now Pay Later service two years ago and quickly found herself in, in hundreds of pounds worth of debt. Of because their small payments was very easy just to go, one of the biggest Buy Now Pay Later firms already has 10 million UK customers. We asked people in Ashby de la Zouch if they had used one. Then when you get to the end of the month, you're like, oh, OK, I've spent £300 and now I've got I to pay it all off. It's great, so it's, it's just very easy no, to spiral, uh, we've, we've I think. More than half of 18 to 25 year olds have used a buy now, pay later if service. If to. According to financial, financial group, experts, money, a warning of some hidden third of those they surveyed claim they've done so because they wanted to buy an item they wouldn't normally be able to afford. Some money management charities are worried these firms are using social media to advertise their services. Services they need as a to means of attaining a glamorous so lifestyle. So they don't need to tell you necessarily the that these products that might damage your credit score so um, or that there are consequences um, of non-payment like the use of debt collectors. To. All of those it's risks can kind of be hidden away in terms of conditions. In fact, Buy now, pay later Sophie Edwards company, is an online content creator who started using a buy now, pay later service two years ago and quickly found herself them. in hundreds well, of pounds Well, we put some of these of concerns to two because of the biggest buy now, pay later was very firms. Easy just to Clara go, told us they do oh, assess the eligibility pounds. of customers when they make a purchase oh, and have a dedicated a team who work with those in financial difficulty to find solutions. But the vast majority make their payments on time. While ClearPay says they allow for responsible spending by selling it's just low very easy on initial to purchases spiral, and freeze customers. More than half of 18 to 25 year olds have used a buy now, debt. pay later service. According to financial that a lot group of these safeguards money, require more financial than a third discipline. of those they surveyed with claim lockdown, they've done so because they wanted to buy an item they wouldn't shopping. normally be When it comes to, to buy now, pay later, some money management charities are worried these firms are using social media of what they're signing up for. To advertise their services as a means of attaining a glamorous lifestyle. The reality is that when you have things that are so quick and convenient, they might encourage people to spend more than they can afford to. It's clear that these products increase spending. In fact, buy now, pay later companies often market themselves to retailers on that basis, that people are going to spend more when they use them. Well, we put some of these concerns to two of the biggest buy now, pay later firms. Klarna told us they do assess the eligibility of customers when they make a purchase and have a dedicated team who work with those in financial difficulty to find solutions. But the vast majority make their payments on time. While ClearPay says they allow for responsible spending by setting low limits on initial purchases and freeze customer accounts if payments are not made to avoid further debt. But a lot of these safeguards require financial discipline. And with another lockdown and an expected surge in online shopping, when it comes to buy now, pay later, people are being urged to read the fine print and really be aware of what they're signing up for. Nick Smith, ITV News.